Hello, Jeff here with Provident Sound and Vision. Welcome to our video featuring the Mercury Audio 666, one of the most exciting and interesting compressors to be released in years. In this video, we'll review the features and provide some sound samples to show why we are making such a bold statement about this piece. We'll also share some sonic comparisons between the sound of the 666 and the TubeTac CL1B. Both are premium tube units manufactured in small batches by experts, and we love the CL1B. Unfortunately, it's on back order for many years, so you might consider the Mercury 666 as an alternative to the CL1B that performs at the highest level. Before we get into the Mercury 666, I'd like to take a moment to introduce David Marquette, who's behind Mercury Audio. David is a pioneer of boutique audio with roots going back to 1994 before there was a sea of boutique audio manufacturers. At that time, engineers who wanted premium audio equipment would take mic pre's, EQs, and compressors out of vintage consoles like Neve, API, and Telefunken and mount those modules into rack mount chassis so they could use these components in the studio without the need for an entire console. David Marquette was one of the first to offer this service and to this day, he has the only shop we know of still racking up vintage modules. In his four decades of working on tens of thousands of vintage pieces, David has learned from the masters of audio design and upgraded these designs to be more durable and compatible with modern studio workflow. With the Mercury 666, David pays homage to the Fairchild 666 while improving durability, integration, and workflow. Both the Mercury and Fairchild 666 are hybrid tube and solid state compressors, whereas the better known Fairchild 660 and 670 are all tube. While we love the legendary Fairchild tube units, the solid state hybrid is much more affordable and there's a case to be made that it's more functional in modern production and when used in stereo for mastering and stereo bus. For one, the signal path has a lower noise floor. Noise floor was not an issue when recording to tape because tape has a higher noise floor and hiss. When producing a clean, clear vocal or mix, the noise floor could be an issue. The other benefit of the 666 design is the solid state gain reduction element, which is highly accurate, especially in stereo use. The Fairchild 670 design uses the infamous variable mu gain reduction control handled by tubes, which can drift as tubes age, throwing off the compression balance in the stereo and can make recalling a mix or master challenging. You might ask, don't tubes sound better? Yes, they sound great. But the tubes used in the variable mu design are not in the signal path. They controlled the gain reduction but did not touch the audio itself. The Mercury 666 does have a tube output stage for that harmonic tube glow on the way out. As a bonus for mixing, mastering, and recall, every control on the Mercury 666 has detents for easy stereo matching and recall. This feature usually costs extra on the mastering version of other audio equipment and it's included complimentary with every 666. At $3,888 US for a single or $7,776 for a pair, this is a tremendous value for a premium compressor handmade in small batches by a master craftsman in the United States. The modern studio no longer needs racks and racks of outboard gear. Most want a few premium pieces that they can use on everything while tracking drums, bass, guitar, synth, and vocals then turn around and use the same piece for the mix or mastering session. In a couple minutes, we'll demonstrate a variety of sounds through the Mercury, but we encourage you to demo this piece for yourself in your studio. Please reach us at provsv.com or DM us on social media to set up your demo. Now, let's take a tour of the front panel controls of the Mercury 666, and then we'll show some sound samples of how you can cover all your needs with this piece. Starting with the left side, we see a link switch. This enables the compressor to be used in stereo when the link is on with a jumper cable on the rear that connects two units. Next, we see the beautiful kidney-shaped VU meter with zero control. Sometimes VU meters can drift. All you have to do to get back to zero is set the meter to gain reduction, lower the output gain all the way, and use the zero dial to bring the meter back to zero. The OP or GR switch lets you view either gain reduction or output on the VU meter. Threshold is just like any compressor. This is the point where compression or gain reduction begins. There are two side chains on the 666. The high pass side chain with optional 90 or 150 hertz settings 
will prevent the low end from triggering the compressor, allowing for more bottom end. This is a modern feature not found on the Vintage 666. The insert switch connects to an insert loop on the rear, which allows for inserting external outboard gear for custom sidechain effects, or keying a signal like kick drum if you want to pump or duck the compression in time with the kick. Next, we see a Baxendall EQ that is after the compression stage. The Baxendall EQ is a broad, gentle, tone-shaping EQ that massages the sound of the source rather than imparting its own character. Many pay thousands for a Baxendall EQ on its own. Here, it's built into the Mercury 666. Returning to the top row of controls, we see 11 presets for attack and release. The first six positions are exactly as found on the original 666. Positions 7 through 11 in red are additional settings paying homage to other classic compressors. Positions 7 and 8 are calibrated for use with vocals, and we'll hear those in a moment compared to the CL1B. Position 9 is set to match the attack and release of an LA-2A. Position 10 matches the single slope mode of a gate stay level, and position 11 matches the gate's double slope mode. Already, we see a ton of versatility and flexibility in this piece. Here we have the output gain control. This drives the tube output stage and allows you to make up the gain the compressor is dipping. And here we see a unique feature called DC Adjust. DC Adjust is what's happening in the tube variable mu design, but in the solid state domain, we have complete control and recallability. Between less and more, it sounds like the difference between a soft knee or hard knee compressor. To get used to this unique control, we recommend starting with the knob near more, dialing in the compressor to the gain and speed settings you want, then playing around with the DC adjust. Moving back downstairs, we see a hardwire bypass so you can hear exactly what the 666 is doing to your music. And last but not least, a wet dry mix to be able to blend the compressed and uncompressed signals. So now we're going to get into some sound samples, but again, if you're interested in this unit or anything else for your studio, we invite you to our showroom in Los Angeles, or we'll come to you and set up a demo in your studio so you can hear anything we offer with music and monitoring that you're familiar with. You wouldn't buy a car in this price range without test driving, so why would you buy a tool for creativity without experiencing it for yourself? We are Provident Sound and Vision, and we are here to help you sound your best.
But you will be sorry, 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 sorry. So sorry, so sorry. You will be sorry, 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 sorry. So sorry, so sorry. But you will be sorry, 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 sorry. So sorry, so sorry. You will be sorry. Sorry, sorry, so sorry, so sorry, but you will be sorry, 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 so sorry, so sorry, be sorry, 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 so sorry, so sorry. Less absorbed with worldly chase. Cerebellum moved up to space. Got a duck with the ISS until I'm done impressing the human race. Could have guessed he would make an impact. Good against evil, what a mismatch. Whose side are you buying though? This isn't an issue of syntax. Tissue is intact. See sutures and scars. Less absorbed with worldly chase. Cerebellum moved up to space. Got a duck with the ISS until I'm done impressing the human race. Coulda guessed he would make an impact. Good against evil, what a mismatch. Whose side are you buying though? This isn't an issue of syntax. Tissue is intact. See sutures and scars. Less absorbed with worldly chase. Cerebellum moved up to space. Got a duck with the ISS until I'm done impressing the human race. Could have guessed he would make an impact. Good against evil, what a mismatch. Whose side are you buying though? This isn't an issue of syntax. Tissue is intact. See sutures and scars.